And so grounding yourself in the body, scan from the crown of your head all the way down to the tip of your toes, releasing any tension that you might find. You can imagine that your skeleton comes into perfect alignment and balance, whether or not that actually is the case. Imagining that all of your internal organs and muscles release and relax with easy circulation, whether or not that's the case, imagine it to be. Encourage it. And then we'll just spend a couple of minutes focused on the breath. So before we do that, just check in with yourself. If you're feeling very agitated and speedy, decide to focus on your breath down at the stomach where it rises and falls. If you're feeling very sleepy, focus at the nostrils where the air comes and goes. And if you're not too speedy or too slow, you can just pick what feels comfortable. So find your breath. And commit your focus to it. Whenever you notice your attention drift, just gently bring it back to the breath. Decisively, but gently.
and see if you can strike that balance of focus that is neither too tight nor too loose. Quietly attentive. And now that the mind is a little bit more settled, invite back your motivation or revive your motivation that we do this practice for both ourself and others, for today, for the great enlightenment. and visualize on the crown of my head, seated upon a white lotus and moon disc, is the protector, my root guru, Chenrezig. He is white in color and has one face and four arms. The first two hands are joined together at his heart, holding a wish-fulfilling gem. His second right hand holds a crystal rosary, while his second left hand holds a white lotus. He is seated in the cross-legged Vajra posture, clothed in fine silk garments, and is adorned with precious ornaments. The syllables Om, Ah, and Hum at his three places emit light that invites Guru Chenrezig from his natural abode. Guru Chenrezig dissolves into the Guru Chenrezig on my crown, who becomes the essence of the three refuges. And so really picture that happening the light going out, inviting, the Buddha's coming back, merging, thinking very strongly, Guru Chenrezig is here. And then refuge in bodhicitta, allowed if you can. Sange chudam sogi chunam bhai janchu padu dani kapsu chi dagi jin sogi pe sonam ki rola penche sange drupasho sange chudam sogi chunam bha. Janchu padu dani kapsu chi, dagi jin sogi pe sonam ki, 
Drola Penja Sange Drupa Show Sange Chudon Sogi Chunamna Jan Chupadu Dani Kapsuchi Dagi Jin Sogi Pesonangi Drola Penja Sange Drupa Show Especially for the benefit of all sentient beings, I will quickly, very quickly, attain the precious state of perfect and complete Buddhahood. For this reason, I will practice the yoga method of Chenrezig Compassion Buddha with one face and four arms. Especially for the benefit of all sentient beings, I will quickly, very quickly, attain the precious state of perfect and complete Buddhahood. For this reason, I will practice the yoga method of Chenrezig Compassion Buddha with one face and four arms. Especially for the benefit of all sentient beings, I will quickly, very quickly, attain the precious state of perfect and complete Buddhahood. For this reason, I will practice the yoga method of Chenrezig Compassion Buddha with one face and four arms. May all sentient beings possess happiness and the causes of happiness. May they be free of suffering and the causes of suffering. May they not be separated from happiness that is free of suffering. May they abide with equanimity, free from attachment to attractive objects and hatred for repulsive objects. May all sentient beings possess happiness and the causes of happiness. May they be free of suffering and the causes of suffering. May they not be separated from happiness that is free of suffering. May they abide with equanimity, free from attachment to attractive objects and hatred for repulsive objects. May all sentient beings possess happiness and the causes of happiness. May they be free of suffering and the causes of suffering. May they not be separated from happiness that is free of suffering. May they abide with equanimity, free from attachment to attractive objects and hatred for repulsive objects. Everywhere may the ground be pure, free of the roughness of pebbles and so forth. May it be in the nature of lapis lazuli and as smooth as the palm of one's hand. May human and divine offerings, actually arranged and mentally created, clouds of finest Samadabhadra offerings fill the entire space. Om Namo Bhagavate Vajrasala Pramadana Tathagataya Mahati Samyak Sampuraya Tayata Om Vajri Vajri Maha Vajri Maha Tira Vajri Maha Vira Vajra Bodhi Tira Vajri Maha Bodhi Mando Pesam Kramana Vajra Sawakam Avarana Vishadana Vajri Soha Om Namo Bhagavate Vajrasava Pramadana Tathagataya Hati Samik Zambudai Tayata Om Vajri Vajri Maha Vajri Maha Tira Vajri Maha Vira Vajra Bodhi Tira Vajri Maha Bodhi Mendo Pesam Gramana Vajrasava Kama Varana Vishadana Vajri Soha Om Namo Bhagavate Vajrasava Pramadana Tathagataya Hati Samik Zambudaya Tayata Om Vajri Vajri Maha Vajri Maha Tira Vajri Maha Vira Maha Bodhi Tira Vajri Maha Bodhi Mendo Pesam Gramana Vajra Sawakama Havarana Vishadana Vajra Soha By the power of the truth of the three jewels, of the blessings of all the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, by the power of the great might of the completed two collections, and of the completely pure, inconceivable sphere of reality, May all these offerings become just so. And then we'll do a Lam Rim prayer to reinforce all the stages of the path to enlightenment in our mind stream. I bow down to my perfect gurus, the essential meaning of the victorious one's teachings, the path praised by all the holy victors and their children, the gateway of the fortunate ones desiring liberation. This I shall try to explain as much as I can those who are not attached to the pleasures of circling samsara, who strive to make freedom and endowments meaningful, who entrust themselves to the path pleasing the victorious ones, you fortunate ones listen with a calm mind. Without the complete intention definitely to be free from circling, 
There is no way to pacify attachment, seeking pleasurable effects in the ocean of circling. Also, by craving for cyclic existence, embodied beings are continuously bound. Therefore, at the very beginning, seek renunciation. Freedom and endowments are difficult to find, and life has no time to spare. By gaining familiarity with this, attraction to the appearances of this life is reversed. By thinking over and over again that actions and their effects are unbetraying, and repeatedly contemplating the miseries of cyclic existence, attraction to the appearances of future lives is reversed. When, by having trained in that way, there is no arising, even for a second, of attraction to the perfections of cyclic existence, and all day and night the intention seeking liberation arises, then the thought of renunciation has been generated. Even if renunciation has been developed, if it is not possessed by the mind of enlightenment, it does not become the cause of the perfect bliss of unsurpassed enlightenment, Therefore, the wise generate the supreme mind of enlightenment. Swept away by the current of the four powerful rivers, tied by the tight bonds of karma so hard to undo, caught in the iron net of self-grasping, completely enveloped by the total darkness of ignorance, endlessly reborn in cyclic existence, ceaselessly tormented by the three sufferings, thinking that all mothers are in such a condition, generate the supreme mind of enlightenment. In short, if like the mother whose cherished son has fallen into a pit of fire and who experiences even one second of his suffering as an unbearable eternity, your reflection on the suffering of all mother sentient beings has made it impossible for you to bear their suffering for even one second and the wish seeking enlightenment for their sake arises without effort then you have realized the supreme precious mind of enlightenment. Without the wisdom realizing ultimate reality, even though you've generated renunciation in the mind of enlightenment, you cannot cut the root cause of circling. Therefore, attempt the method to realize dependent arising. One who sees the cause and effect of all phenomena, of both cyclic existence and the state beyond sorrow is forever unbetraying, and for whom any object trusted in by the grasping mind has completely disappeared, has at that time entered the path pleasing the Buddhas. If the appearance of dependent relation, which is unbetraying, is accepted separately from emptiness, and as long as they are seen as separate, then one has still not realized the Buddha's intent. If these two realizations are happening simultaneously without alternation, and from merely seeing dependent relation is completely unbetraying, the definite ascertainment comes that completely destroys the way all objects are apprehended as truly existent. At that time, the analysis of the ultimate view is complete. Furthermore, appearance eliminates the extreme of existence, and emptiness eliminates the extreme of non-existence. If you realize how emptiness manifests in the manner of cause and effect, then you are not captivated by wrong notions holding extreme views. In this way, you realize exactly the vital points of the three principal aspects of the path, resort to seeking solitude, generate the power of effort, and quickly accomplish your final goal, my child. And so feel reconnected to the Lam Rim, the stages of the path, feel it reinforced in your mental continuum. And we do the invocation. Chom 
Kundan To Chenrezig Compassion Buddha, I prostrate with my body, speech, and mind. I present clouds of every type of offering, actual and imagined. I declare all my negative actions accumulated since beginningless time and rejoice in the merit of all holy and ordinary beings. Please remain until the end of cyclic existence and turn the wheel of Dharma for living beings. I dedicate my own merits and those of all others to the great enlightenment. To Arya Chenrezig, whose body is pure white, unstained by defilements, whose head is adorned by the fully enlightened Buddha Amitabha. To you who gaze upon all sentient beings with eyes of boundless compassion, a make offering. Yadam Guru Radna Mandala Kamni In blessing the offering, if you have the empowerment, or imagining that the front generated Chenrezig performs these actions. They arise instantaneously, or I arise instantaneously. One Padmatatri Hum Pei. One Sawa Shuddha Sawa Dhamma Sawa Shuddha Hum. The offering substances become just empty. From within emptiness, from broom syllables, vast and extensive precious vessels arise. Within each, the syllable om melts into light, from which arise drinking water, water for bathing the feet, flowers, incense, lamps, perfume, food, and music. Empty in nature, they have the aspect of the individual types of offerings and function to bestow special uncontaminated bliss. Om Padyama Om Om Padyama Om Om Pupaya Om Om Dupaya Om Om Halokaya Om Om Gandaya Om Om Nudaya Om Om Shasta Om Om Rupa Om Om Shasta Om Om Raza Ahum, Om Spraza Ahum. Whatever slight virtue I have created by paying homage, offering, and acknowledging my faults, rejoicing, and requesting that the Buddhas stay and teach, now I now dedicate all this for full awakening. Om Sawa Shuddha Sawa Dhamma Sawa Shuddha Ahum. The natures of myself, the deity to be meditated upon, and all phenomena are in essence of one taste in emptiness. Being with that.
From the sphere of emptiness, the aspect of the tone of the mantra, Om Mani Peme Hum resounds, pervading the realm of space. Hear it reverberating. my mind in the aspect of the undifferentiable suchness of myself and the deity becomes a moon mandala upon which the very aspect of the tone of the mantra resounding in space is set down having the form of written syllables the sounds and the letters mixing like very pure mercury adhering to grains of gold that completely transforms into a thousand petal lotus, as brilliant as refined gold, marked at the center by the mantra, Om Mani Padme Hum. From the tips of multicolored light rays emitted from the moon, lotus, and mantra, innumerable holy bodies of the Arya Ablokiteshvara spread out, pervading all the realms of space. Great clouds of miraculously emanated offerings are beautifully offered to the Buddhas and their children. From yet another great emanated cloud, a continuous rain of nectar descends, extinguishing the fires of suffering of all migrators of the hells and other realms. They are satisfied with bliss and become Avakiteshvara. Then the light rays, along with the bodies of the deity, return 
and enter into one's own mind in the aspect of the moon mandala, lotus, and mantra garland. These transform into a multicolor lotus and moon seat, upon which oneself arises is Arya Avlokiteshvara, or Arya Avlokiteshvara fully arising in the space in front, with one face, four arms. The first two hands are joined together at the heart and hold a wish fulfilling gem. The second right hand holds a crystal rosary. The second left hand holds the stem of a white lotus. Arya Avlokiteshvara is seated cross-legged in the Vajra posture, clothed in fine garments, adorned with precious ornaments. He is a white-colored holy body, is in the prime of youth, and radiates rays of light. Let's stabilize the visualization as best as you can with a relaxed mind. The image on the screen, only a reference. Try to see it in your mind's eye. At the crown is a white om, at the throat a red ah, at the heart a blue hum. Upon a moon mandala at the heart is a white hri. Then we imagine the five places of the deity become blessed either yourself as the deity or the deity in front. Om Pemo Boi Soha 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 Light rays radiate from the Hri at the heart, invoking from their natural abodes Arya Avlokiteshvara, surrounded by the entire assembly of Buddhas and Bodhisattvas. Om Arya Lokeshvara Sapari Wari Vajra Samaya Zaza Hum Bam Ho. They become non dual with oneself, the commitment being, or the commitment being in the space in front. Again, light rays radiate from the Hri at one's heart, invoking the empowering deities, the five Buddha families, with Amitabha as their principal, together with their retinues. Om Vajra Samaja. All Tathagatas, please confer the empowerment upon me. Om Sawa Tathagata Bishakata Samaya Shriya they bestow the empowerment with vase water. Thereby the entire body is filled and all stains are purified. From a transformation of the excess water remaining on the crown, the crown becomes adorned with Amitabha. and blessing the offerings.
Om Pematatri Hum Pei. Om Sawa Shura Sawa Dama Sawa Shura Om. Tompani Duigyu. The offerings become just empty. From within emptiness, from broom syllables, vast and extensive precious vessels arise. Within each, the syllable Om melts into light from which arise drinking water, water for bathing the feet, flowers, incense, lamps, perfume, food, and music. Empty in nature, they have the aspect of the individual types of offerings and function to bestow special uncontaminated bliss. Om hai gyam padyam duape duape Hello, Kay, Gande, New Day, Shasta, Oh, Om Haya, Loke, Shware, Sapari, Ware, Agyam Prati, Sasoha. Oh, Om Haya, Loke, Shware, Sapari, Ware. Padyam prati sai soha. Om haya loke shwara sa pari war. Yuate prati sai soha. Om haya loke shwara sa pari war. Dupe prati sai soha. Om Haya Loke Shware Sapari Var Aloke Prati Sasoha Om Haya Loke Shware Sapari Var Gente Prati Sasoha Om Maria Loke Shware Sapari War New Day Prati Sasoha Om Maria Loke Shware Sapari War Japta Prati Sasoha Om Arya Loke Shware Sapari Ware Rupa Prati Sasoha Om Arya Loke Shware Sapari Ware Shabda Prati Sasoha Om Arya Loke Shware Sapari War Yende Prati Sasoha Om Arya Loke Shware Sapari War Raza Prati Sasoha Om Arya Loke Shware Sapari War Whatever slight virtue I have created by paying homage, offering, and acknowledging my faults, rejoicing and requesting that the Buddhas stay and teach, I now dedicate all this for full awakening. To Arya Chenrezig, whose body is pure white, unstained by defilements, whose head is adorned by the fully enlightened Buddha Amitabha, to you who gaze upon all sentient beings with eyes of boundless compassion, I prostrate. Holding the prayer beads, rosary, mala, between your cupped hands. Om Guru Sawa Tata Gata Kaya Vachita Prana Mana Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Pada Pada Nam Karoni. Om Vazu Mate Shri Soha. 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 
Om Bhazu Mate Shri He Soha. And visualize on a moon disk at one's heart or the heart of the Chen Rezig in front is the concentration being the syllable Hri. Surrounded by garlands of the mantras to be recited, white in color and standing clockwise. Light rays radiate from them, filling all the inside of one's body and purifying all negativities and obscurations. Light rays radiate outwards from which an incalculable assembly of deities of the great compassion Buddha with one face and four arms are emanated. Again, light rays are emitted, purifying the negativities and obscurations of all sentient beings and setting them in the state of Arya Avalokiteshvara. These then collect back and dissolve into the Hri at one's heart or the Hri of the Chen Rezig in front. And so we add the mantra to the visualization. Namo Ratna Triaya Namo Arya Yana Sagara Viro Chana Buharatsaya Tata Gataya Ahate Samyag Sampuraya Namo Sawa Tata Gatebe Ahate Be Samyag Sampurabe Namo Arya Bolokite Shoraya Bodhisattvaya Mahasatvaya, Mahakarunikaya, Tayata Om Tara Dara, Diri Diri, Duru Duru, Yete Vate Sale Sale, Prasale Prasale Kusume Kusume, Wari Hili Mili Titi Tsalam Hapanaya Soha. On Mani Pen Mevo, On Mani Pen Mevo, Om Mani Padme Hum. 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 Continue your mantra under the breath together with the visualization. Om Mani Padme Hum, Om Mani Padme Hum, Om Mani Padme Hum.
And if you get lost or distracted, just gently come back to the mantra recitation visualization, piece by piece, gently. Or just stay with the mantra. Oh, my opinion. Om Mani Padme And then purifying any mistakes. <clears throat> you can think as you say this mantra to the best of your ability that streams of white light flow down 
purifying and cleansing you of any mistakes or omissions. Om Pemasapa Samaya Manupalaya Pemasapa Denobadi Shadido Mibawa Sumokaya Mibawa Sudokaya Mibawa Anarakta Mibawa Sawa Siddhi Mepaya Tsawa Kama Susan Siddham Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawa Sawa Tadagata Padma Mami Mutsa Padma Bawa Maha Samaya Sapa Ahum Bay Om Padmasapa Samaya Manupalaya Padmasapa Dena Padisha Dido Mibal Supokaya Mibala Supokaya Mibala Anarakta Mibala Sala Siddhi Nepaya Tasala Kama Sutan Siddham Triam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bago Sala Tadagata Padamame Musa Padmabala Mahasamaya Sapa Ahum Pei Om Padmasapa Samaya Manu Balaya Padmasapa Deno Padisha Dido Mibawa Sudo Kayo Mibawa Supo Kayo Mibaw Anarajo Mibawa Sala Siddhi Mepayata Sala Kama Sutam Didam Triam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bago Sala Tadagata Padma Mimsa Padma Bawa Mahasamaya Sapa Ahum Pei Arya Ablokiteshvara, with one face, four arms. Please cleanse and purify all disease, spirit harm, negativities, and obscurations of all sentient beings like myself. Please enhance and increase the life, merit, and all qualities of scriptural dharma and realization dharma. Arya Ablokiteshvara, with one face, four arms. Please cleanse and purify all diseases, spirit harm, negativities, and obscuration of all sentient beings like myself. Please enhance and increase the life merit and all qualities of scriptural dharma and realization dharma. Arya Ablokiteshvara with one face, four arms. Please cleanse and purify all diseases, spirit harm, negativities, and obscuration of all sentient beings like myself. Please enhance and increase the life merit in all qualities of scriptural dharma and realization dharma. And then before. By this merit, may I quickly accomplish the state of Arya Avalokiteshvara and establish all reincarnating beings without exception in that state. By the force of the praises and requests made to you, may all diseases, evil spirits, poverty, and quarrels be calmed, and may the Dharma and good fortune increase in the regions in which I and others dwell. Due to this merit in all my lives, may I never be parted from perfect gurus. May I enjoy the abundance of the Dharma. Perfecting all qualities of the stages and paths, may I quickly attain the state of Vajadhara.